Okay, so if you'd like to work for this guy, this guy, this guy, or this guy, sorry, this guy, then you have to know what data structures and algorithms are. Now, a couple of years ago, I didn't even know what a data structure was. So I started at ground zero, and over the last few years, I taught myself data structures and algorithms, basically to be able to do legal problems. I don't have a computer science degree. I learned them all online, mostly for free. And this video is basically a brain dump of everything I've learned, a roadmap for you, things which have helped, things which kind of hindered me with a view of helping you guys learn data structures and algorithms. And if you're new here, I'm Andrew. I got into tech in my 30s, um, but I became a software engineer and currently travel the world as a digital nomad doing it and make tech content, digital nomad content, and some dad jokes. If that's a your kind of vibe, subscribe. And the next video will be focused also on leak code. So I'm gonna break down data structures and algorithms in this video. The next one will be leak code. So how I went from not being able to do eases in leak code to be able to do hards and medium. So subscribe if that sounds your kind of vibe. Okay, let's get into it. The good news is that data structures and algorithms look super intimidating from the outside, but once you get into them and you learn the basics and you take it step by step, it's not actually that bad. And all you need is consistency, persistence, and this idea that rather than practice makes perfect, practice makes good. The reason I learned them, I was going through the interview process with some jobs. I just got my first developer job and I felt I'd be putting a ceiling on my development on what kind of jobs I could get if I didn't learn data structures and algorithms. So I started learning them. And if you just take it step by step with this approach I'm gonna give you, you'll get there. A good mindset shift to start with is that it is actually quite fun. Obviously going through an interview process sucks the life out of it. But if you look at it as this beautiful thing where you're solving puzzles and you just treat it in a light way, you will have a lot more fun and you'll learn it a lot quicker. Okay, and before we get into it, some housekeeping. So the maths. A lot of people really get put off in coding because of maths or programming or whatever. The math is not an excuse to not study this or to feel you will never be good at it. The, the only math I've really had to learn was logarithms. It's very basic math and you don't actually use a lot of math in data structures and algorithms is my experience. Obviously someone else might, might tell you different, but if you're not so good at maths, that's not an excuse. <clears throat> Number two. A really good question is what language should you be using? I think the best advice is whatever language you're good at. So you wanna make it as easy as possible for you to do this. And you can go to an interview and you can say to them, can I do this in Python? Or can I do this in JavaScript? Most of the resources are geared towards Python, uh, Java or JavaScript. So just choose whatever language you're best at. And if you go to an interview, you just say to them, all right, can I do this in JavaScript? Okay, so day one, you don't know anything about data structures and algorithms, and you're like, where should I start? The best way to start is to get a high level overview, high level concept of all the different topics of data structures and algorithms. So what is a data structure, really basically? What are these different algorithms? What are the most common data structures? And things like big O notation, recursion, pointers, these high level concepts that you're gonna to need to know. And for this, it's a really good YouTube video uh, with Free Code Camp, which I'll link down. There's also a few other data structures videos you can watch. Bro code's really good. Um, but you're not going too deep at this point. You're just learning at a high level these key concepts. But one particular topic you wanna to get good at and you wanna nail down straight away is big O. So you wanna be able to look at a line of code and be able to calculate the time and space complexity. And big O is, the way I always think about it, it's how code slows as data grows. Just remember that. And it's a label to rank how performant your code is. And you wanna look at this chart and know what's going on. So it's really crucial to get big O down. Just watch as many tutorials, as many videos as you can, so you can label each line of code with its time and space complexity. At this point, I recommend a book. There is this book, but this is probably a bit too intense right now. The book I recommend is this one. I love this book because it's the most entry-level beginner, gentle introduction to data structures and algorithms. It just explains things like Big O so simply with diagrams, pictures, and it's the best explanation of binary search that I've found. So if you're still struggling, read this book. Now at this point, I recommend you do a course, and there's three I recommend. There's CS50, there's one from Colt Steel on Udemy, and there's a zero to mastery one. So I've done all three, and I, the one I recommend most will probably be the zero to mastery one. And the reason I recommend a course is that it will just give you a roadmap and a structure. So they'll start with the basic concepts, they'll introduce data structures and algorithms, and then you'll do the more basic data structures like arrays and linked lists, 
to the more advanced state structures and then you do algorithms. So you have a roadmap, it will keep you on track rather than dotting around. Okay, next, you do one of these courses are recommended and now it's time to get your hands dirty and you do this in two ways. Number one, with data structures. You wanna start writing data structures out from scratch, building them from scratch, okay? And lean into the idea of memorizing them. So a lot of people say you shouldn't memorize stuff in coding. For data structures and algorithms though, I think you should. Like for example, with me, I struggled with pointers, with linked lists, but in the end, I just wrote so many linked lists that it just, it was like second nature. And if you get into an interview and something, you memorize something and it's like second nature, you're just gonna have such an easier time as opposed to someone who's kind of like doing it on the fly. So build these data structures from scratch and memorize as much as you can. So yeah, don't be afraid of memorizing things apart from big O. So you should be able to calculate big O yourself without memorizing anything. Okay, next, it's time to start doing leak code. And if you get into leak code, you look at some of these easy problems and you're like, holy sh I can't even do eases. Then my advice and what I did is to go on a website called Code Wars. It's basically like a beginner entry level leak code and just do loads of these problems. It's like Code Wars is like a cutout system and just start right at the bottom, put your ego away and just do as many of these problems as you can because these problems are training the logical part of your brain, the problem solving part of your brain. And if you do as many of them as you can, you know, practice makes good, remember that. Do as many as you can and you will get there. And try and keep it fun and keep it light. Look at them as like crosswords and puzzles. Yeah, you're not saving the world, okay? It's just coding at the end of the day. So start each session with, every coding session you sit down, maybe you're building a project, try and start it with a Code Wars problem or a Leak Code problem. And start at eases, gradually build your way up. The next video I do will be on Leak Code, so subscribe for that. And also use ChatGPT. So give it problems, ask it how it can make it more performant. ChatGPT or Claude, whatever is your friend at this point. Okay, so at this point, you're probably at an intermediate level. You've done the courses that are recommended and you're looking for a bit more knowledge or to like recap or to solve more problems. A book like this is really good. Uh, I think the reason I didn't recommend this at the start is it can be a bit dry. There's another one called Algorithms, which is really good. So there's this and Algorithms I'd recommend. And there's loads of problems in here. This is basically everything you need, but can be quite dry if you're just starting out. There's resources like Abdul Bari on YouTube is really good, his algorithms playlist. Rob Edwards is really good on YouTube and bro code. So those three should be enough for you. And one thing to remember here is that you don't need to know everything. And I'll talk about this in the leak code video I do next, but be efficient and effective with your time. So use things like the blind 75. And for example, with sorting algorithms, there's like a billion of them. All right, you don't need to learn every one. Just pick one or two, get really good at those, like merge sort. And so when you're in an interview and you need to sort something, you're bang on. Also, shameless plug, I do have an ebook. It's called How to Not Suck at Data Structure Algorithms and Leak Code. I made it about half a year ago, and it's basically a huge brain dump of everything I know about these two, how to solve leak code problems, basically, and learn data structure and algorithms. So yeah, it took me about 10 days to write, put a lot of effort into it. A lot of people have bought it. So yeah, if that sounds interesting. If you like this video, check that out, link in the description below. And that is it. And just to close it off, what I would say is just try and keep this process of learning this really complex topic. You'll only have to learn it once. And then once you learn it, you've got this skill for life and you're gonna earn a lot more money in your career. It's a very high value skill at the moment, data search and algorithm. So always remember that and just try and make it fun and celebrate the small wins. Like I still remember solving my first Leaco problem and like reversing a linked list, all these like milestones that I still remember. So yeah, celebrate the small wins, keep it fun. The next video will be focused on leak code. So subscribe for that, it massively helped me out. If you got value from this content, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.